Welcome to the first episode of the Overwatch series on the Mastermind Channel, where we will take a look at the hero combo synergy. We are going to start this off with the not so popular African robot Centaur, better known as Orissa. We'll begin with going through her weapons and abilities, and the corresponding numbers. After, we'll go more in depth on one of her specific abilities, which will be Halt. Let's begin with the base values. Her primary weapon is the Fusion Driver, which deals 11 damage per second at a rate of 720 rounds per minute. There's no range drop off, and it can headshot. Orissa's primary ability is the Barrier. It has 900 health and a cooldown of 8 seconds, which is actually quite good. If the barrier is not destroyed, it disappears after 20 seconds. This is what Orissa is all about. Her second ability is called Fortify. It reduces the incoming damage by 50% for 4 seconds, with a 10 second cooldown. It also stops any crowd control from affecting you. And then we have her ultimate, which is called Supercharger. Upon activating, Orissa deploys one of her totems. It affects any ally within a direct line of sight of the totem, within a range of 25 meters, and increases their damage by 50%, for the duration of 15 seconds. Keep in mind that the totem can be destroyed, so be alert. And now back to her second attack, or right click, on PC. Since this is where I wanted to focus the video on. Her second attack is called Halt, better known as the Green Orissa Ball. We're going to go more in depth on this ability. The Orisa Orb shoots quite slow and is quite easy to see coming. It has a radius of 7.5 meters when activated again or when colliding with a wall. The Orisa Orb can go through barriers and can only be stopped by the Diva Particle Barrier. Alright, these were the values. Now let's talk more about Halt. Or, for sake of simplicity, her orb. I've hopped into a custom game with the Peaceful Panda and went on and tested some of the combinations that we can come up with. To combo correctly, you need to be on the same page as your Arisa, or the Arisa on the same page as you, but whatever. We need to have a call out, something like orb out or anything in that direction. Here are the things we could find that were actually quite useful. Let's start off with McCree. McCree's grenade is a splash damage ability, so you can chain this as a CC train. Follow it up after the orb hits and then you can stun the whole group again. Next up is Pharah. Pharah does splash damage in general, which makes her a very good combination with the Orisa orb. Her regular shots do splash damage, so good for melting groups. But this comes mostly down to the Pharah awareness, since she has a projectile as well. Again, Orisa needs to call it out so the Pharah can focus on it. It can also be combined with her ultimate, which is pretty strong if you can get multiple people in it, because it makes it really hard for them to get away. Soldier 76's Helix Rocket is also splash damage, so same as for the Pharah rockets, they can be combined after a good grab to hit multiple people at once. His ult, however, isn't that great since Arisa is very likely to grab a tank in there and makes it really hard for the soldier to focus the right targets, or even a Rhine shield in front of all of them and makes it useless. Junkrat is pretty good in combination with the Arisa orb, since his regular attacks do splash damage. His C4, however, is kind of a displacement, so be sure to only use that to finish them off and not start with it. His ultimate can be really good as well. Since you can time the ultimate a little bit easier than the Orisa can time her orb, it's quite easy to just sit around, wait a bit, and then wait for the orb to come in, and then boom. But this might not even be necessary in most cases, since it has just about the same radius as the Orisa orb. Next up is a theory, Torbjorn. Attack Torbjorn, to be precise. Just keep in mind that this is a speculation. But with the Orisa Orb, you can stall people in range of the turret, and even get some cheeky pulls around the corner into the turret range. But for this, you'll need to have a very good Orisa, and she has to be very aware of where the turret is. 
Now for probably my favorite combo, the Roadhog Orb combo. The Roadhog hook after someone gets orb. Since the enemy cannot get out of the orb's effect, if timed correctly, you can secure hook people after they get orbed to ensure certain picks. When considering Rodok's ultimate, keep in mind that it's pretty much the opposite of what the orb does. So not great to combine, unless they get pulled against a wall, where Rodok can then unleash his ultimate and they cannot get away. Zarya is actually quite funny in combination with Orisa, since Orisa can try and pull people into the Zarya's Graviton Surge range. Essentially, it's just making the Graviton Surge a bigger pull. Hanzo in combination with an Orisa can be very deadly. Since you can kill multiple people at once with a well placed scatter arrow combined with the orb. And if Hanzo, if, if Hanzo knows, he can actually headshot people straight out of the orb. And an ultimate is pretty good on top of a good orb as well. Now for reverse callouts. All the ones above are actually engaged by the Orisa. Now, these two are engaged by the other person. Winston and Reinhardt are actually the only ones that can benefit from a delayed orb. What I mean by that is that a Rhine or a Winston engages and tries to melee people, or for the Winston, tries to be in range of his Tesla gun. For them, with either one of these two in their faces, they'll try to run. An Orisa Orb can make sure that this doesn't happen, and stall them into the range of one of these two deadly characters. To secure the kill. Alright, finally we have some tips for using the orb. If you don't see any opportunities to synergize with a teammate, it works very well in combination with the environment. It mostly works on maps where there's ledges that are near the objective. Thinking of the two Ilios maps or the bridge on Eichenwald. Like we said, the orb also doesn't go through Diva's particle barrier, so be smart when playing against her. Finally, you can use it to save your teammates by pulling away enemies that are diving them. Think of orbing a charging Reinhardt. When you see this coming, it's actually pretty easy to pull off. I considered Orisa to be more of a support tank than anything else. Sort of how Zenyara is not really considered a healer, but he does heal. Not capable of tanking on her own, but very good at a very good asset in a lot of team comps. That's about it for this episode. We didn't want to do an actual Orisa guide where we talk about all the abilities, because this has been done a million times before. We did feel like going a little more in depth on a certain ability could be useful. Anyways, this has been her base values and everything about her halt ability of Orisa. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode.